My brother was always in hospital because he liked to ride motorbikes and crash them. And every time someone came in, I was always like, what happened? I want to know. And so that's how my brain works. I want to know what happened. I want to piece the puzzle back together. And so my journey into forensics evolved, you can say. Unfortunately, my parents were attacked and my dad was shot. And so my, my interest in forensics grew even more. Um, I then started working with the police. I spent more time in the labs. And so it evolved. So kind of this, my, my, my uh, path kind of got made for me, you can say. And I'm, I'm really glad because I love it. I'm passionate about it. It's what I, I, it drives me. And so my interests and focus happen to be trauma, obviously from the, the paramedic life, and facial reconstruction. And I'll tell you a little bit more why that interests me later. So for those of you, I'm sure everyone knows what Bones, the TV series is. But here's a little reminder about how Bones actually works. How were these remains found? Well, let me aim you in this direction. Okay, so was that person, was that body, for example, dumped in a field and a person cut that body up and left it there to try and get rid of the body? Or was that person, did that person again have a heart attack in the field and a tractor came through and was plowing and cut the body up? No, the two different settings. Still gross, but two different settings. So that's something I can tell. In terms of blunt trauma, that I mean when someone's been beaten over the head, for example, or in a car accident, okay? I, we can say something about the minimum number of hits that that person will have had and what order. So I'll show you now, but if someone was hit here first and then there and then there, and that's important. Was the person hit from behind first or were they hit from the front first? Was it a confrontation? Doesn't change the fact that the person died, but were they attacked from behind or from the front? It plays an important role in the investigation. Um, sharp trauma, as I said, has got to do with um, <coughs> sorry, cutting people up and stabbing people, and it's a bit gross, I'll tell you now. And then ballistic trauma, which is obviously gunshots. 